Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solution Tutorial Video. This video will show you on how to drag and drop in single and multiple selection of web tree view. First, create a new website using Intersoft Empty Website Project Template. In this sample, we will need two simple of XML database to be bound to web tree view, in this case, those are, staff a.xml, and staff b.xml. Next, we will create a simple table which contains of two columns, right side and left side. After that, switch to design view, and simply drag two web tree views to the first and second column. Next, open the web tree view smart tag and create a new data source. Choose XML file as a data source type. Click browse and select staff a.xml which located in app data. Then set the path expression. After that, click on edit tree node data bindings to open the data binding editor. Choose the available data binding and click add. Select the data binding and set the text field to name. Also, Check on Auto Generate Data Binding. Click Apply and OK. Next, do exactly same to the other web tree view. However, for this tree view, we will use staff b.xml as a data source. After that, select the first web tree view and open its properties. Set allow drag drop to true, and allow drop from other control to true. Expand the drag drop settings and set allow child drop, leaf drop, root drop and sibling drop to true as well. Then, we can select the second web tree view and exactly set the same settings with the first web tree view. Now, we can save and run the project. In here, we can drag and drop node within web tree view. Since we set true to have drop from other control, we can also drag and drop node from one web tree view to another web tree view. Now, back to Visual Studio. Set allow multiple select to true for both web tree view.
save and run the project. In here, we can select multiple nodes by holding the control button. Furthermore, we can also drag and drop multiple nodes within WebTreeView and other WebTreeView as well. Next, back to Visual Studio and open WebTreeView's property. Now, try to check on Enable Tri-State checkbox and set all to show checkbox. In here, we will have Web Tree View with Tri-State checkbox that works nicely with a child node. With simple settings, you can now know how to set drag drop in web tree view. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solution tutorial video. For further information, you can visit our website at www.intersoftpt.com.